Hello, dear students. Welcome to our English lesson. I am your teacher, Jaina Gulshay Nazarovna. Before we start our lesson, let's sing a song. I am so happy. Are you ready to continue? Great! Last lesson we talked about past continuous and today we will learn to use past continuous and past simple together in a sentence. So let's remember what past simple tense is. We use past simple to talk about a completed action in the past. For example, Yesterday I had breakfast or last summer I went to Italy. You can also say I played tennis five days ago. We have regular verbs and irregular verbs. For example, played, jumped, cooked, studied, and found are regular verbs. Do you remember why? Very good, because to make past simple, we add ed ending. What are the irregular verbs? Irregular verbs change completely. For example, have becomes had in the past. I had breakfast yesterday at 10 o'clock. Write, wrote, be, was, were, swim, changed to swim, and run, changed to ran. To remember these verbs better, let's sing another song together. Irregular verbs. Be, was, were, been, become, became, become, begin, began, begun. Blow, blue, blown. Break, broke, broken. Bring, brought, brought. Build, built, built. Burst, burst, burst. Buy, bought, bought. Choose, chose, chosen. Catch, caught, caught. Come, came, come. Cut, cut, cut. Deal, dealt, dealt. Do, did, done. Dream, dreamt, dreamt. Drink, drank, drunk. Drive, drove, driven. Eat, ate, eaten. Fall, fell, fallen. Feel, felt, felt. Fight, fought, fought. Find, found, found. Fly, flew, flown. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Forgive, forgave, forgiven. Freeze, froze, frozen. Get, got, got. Give, gave, given. Go, went, gone. Grow, grew, grown. No, new, no. 
Lay, laid, laid. Lead, led, led. Leave, left, left. Let, let, let. Lie, lay, lane. Lose, lost, lost. Make, made, made. Mean, meant, meant. Meet, met, met. Pay, paid, paid. Put, put, put. Read, read, read. Ride, road, ridden. That's right. Rise, rose, risen. Here we go. Run, ran, run. You heard. Say, said, said. Yeah, yeah. See, saw, seen. Uh -huh. Seek, sought, sought. Yeah. Sell, sold, sold. That's good. Send, sent, sent. Now, let's remember the structure of past simple tense. Affirmative form. How do we make affirmative form? We have a subject plus verb plus ed if it's regular or we take the third form of the verb, past participle, plus object. For example, I played tennis. He had breakfast. Let's try to make negative form now. Subject plus did not, the short form is didn't, plus verb one plus object. For example, I didn't play tennis. You cannot say I didn't play tennis, it's a mistake. Or he did not have breakfast, he didn't have breakfast. Irregular, irregular verbs change to the first form of the verb had becomes have be careful and what is the question form did plus subject plus verb one plus plus object did plus subject plus verb one plus object for example did i play tennis or did he have breakfast and the answer is yes i did no i didn't Yes, he did. No, he didn't. What about the question words? So here is the structure for WH questions. Question word plus did plus subject plus verb one plus object. For example, where did you study last year? Do you remember how to use past simple now? Great. Your task is to ask questions using past simple and to give short answers. For example, if I ask you, did you go to school yesterday? You should say, yes, I did, if it's plus, and no, I didn't, if it's minus. Are you ready to check your answers? Nice. So the first one is, did you win a computer? Yes, I did. Number two, did they buy a house? No, they didn't. Number three, did she do the exam? Yes, she did. And number four, did Rob and Alice study English? No, they didn't. Please check your answers and correct your mistakes if you have them. Well done. Now, let's remember what is past continuous. We use past continuous to talk about a past activity that was in progress at a particular time in the past. Look at the graph. Something started in the past and was in progress at a particular time in the past and maybe will continue. So here is the example. At 8 a.m. I was eating. So maybe this person started eating at 7 o'clock and ate till 9 o'clock. 
But at 8 a.m. he was eating. I was eating. The second example. Where were you last night? I was sleeping. And what is the structure of past continuous? So to make past continuous, we are adding ing to the verb. Sometimes we double the last consonant of the verb and sometimes we delete e. Look at the examples, please. So if the verb ends in e, we delete it. Make, making, take, taking, write, writing. If there is consonant, vowel and consonant, we double the last consonant. Run, double n, running. Cut, cutting. Get, getting. To other verbs, we just add ing. For example, cooking, playing, sleeping, and so on. So what is the structure of past continuous? Affirmative sentence. Subject plus was were plus verb plus ing plus object. I was playing tennis or he was having breakfast or they were reading a book. Pay attention. In singular forms we use was and in plural forms we use were. What is a negative form? Subject plus wasn't weren't plus verb plus ing plus object. I wasn't playing tennis. He wasn't having breakfast. We weren't cooking at 6 o'clock yesterday, for example. Great. And what is the question form? Was were come to front plus subject plus verb plus ing plus object. Was I playing tennis? Were they having breakfast? And the short answer is, yes, I was, no, I wasn't. Yes, they were, no, they weren't. What about the WH questions? So question words come to front before was and were. Where were you studying last year? Or what was he cooking yesterday at 6 o'clock, for example? Now, in this exercise, your task is to write sentences using past continuous. What was Anne doing yesterday? Look at the time, please. 8 a.m. yesterday. And the activity is have breakfast. So your sentence is Anne was having breakfast at 8 a.m. yesterday. Try to write three sentences yourselves. Are you ready to check? Great. Number two. Anne was doing homework at half past four yesterday. Number three. Anne was reading books at 9 p.m. yesterday. And the last one is. Anne was playing tennis at 7 a.m. this morning. Now, dear students, let's look at this picture. Do you remember this girl? This is Aigul. Well done. And this photo was taken yesterday. Where was she? She was at home. And what was she doing? She was looking somewhere. And what was the weather like? It was raining. Good job. While Aigul was watching the rain, the phone rang. Look at the sentence, please. How many actions are there in a sentence? There are two actions. Was watching the rain and 
rang. When did they take place? These actions took place in the past. Which action started first? What do you think? Aigul was watching the rain. So she started watching the rain before the phone rang. Which action was in progress? Which action was continuing? Aigul was watching the rain. And which action finished? The phone rang. Nice. So there were two actions. Aigul was watching the rain and the phone rang. So she was watching the rain and was stopped with the phone call. Now look at this example, please. I was eating dinner when he called me last night. So he started eating dinner at half past six and he ate dinner till half past seven and at quarter past seven he called him. So I was eating dinner when he called me last night. There are two actions. You can also say when he called me last night, I was eating dinner. So you can change the places of the verbs. Here are the other examples. While I was watching TV, my mom came home. Or I was drinking tea when my phone rang. So we use past simple for a finished action in the past, for example, my mom came or my phone rang. We use past continuous for an action in progress. For example, I was watching TV or I was drinking tea. And also we use while before past continuous. So while I was watching TV, my mom came home. Now your task is to complete the sentence with the past simple or past continuous. For example, my parents met when they were studying at university. So they were studying, it was in progress when they met each other. Please. Try to do the other sentences yourselves. Are you ready to check your answers? Nice. B. I was talking to my friend when the lesson started. C. I was sitting at home when I saw the news on TV. D. They were waiting for us when we arrived at the station. E. When the teacher gave the instructions, I was listening to my partner. F. My father was driving a car when I phoned him. G. When she went out, she was wearing a white top and blue jeans. H. It was raining 
when I woke up in the morning and I, I switched off the lights while I was getting ready to leave home. Good job. Now I'm going to show you another sentences. Your task is to understand which action is in progress and which action is finished. Then you should try to use past simple or past continuous. For example, I was sleeping when my mom came. So the second action has finished and the first action was in progress. Are you ready to check your answers? Nice. Alina came when we were having dinner. Nurbek was driving fast when the police stopped him. It was snowing when we arrived at the airport. E. It all happened when he was having a shower. F. I was walking along the street when I saw a man on a bench. G. When I saw her for the first time, she was reading a book in the park. H. I was jogging when a big dog ran after me. I. When I arrived at the party, Nurbek and Denisa were dancing. J. I was doing my last exercise when the lesson finished. K. I was trying to fall asleep when somebody knocked at the door. And L. When the electricity went off, I was working on the computer. Now try to do this exercise orally. No need to write anything. Let's do it together. For each sentence you have five seconds to answer. The first one. What film were you watching when I called you last night? Number two, please do it. While he was jogging in the park, a dog bit him on the leg. Number three. I saw Adam again in the park this morning. He was walking his dog. Number four. You didn't hear me get home last night because you were sleeping. Number five. John didn't take his umbrella with him last night because it wasn't raining. Number six. Mr. Lee was working so hard that he fell asleep at this desk. Number seven. While they were swimming, Sam spotted a dangerous shark. They quickly swam back to the shore and alerted the life court. Number eight. 
Were you having lunch when I called you? Number eight. Were you having lunch when I called you office yesterday? And number nine. Did anyone call when I was cooking dinner? This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for your attention. See you on our next lessons. Goodbye.